Is there something in particular you're working on this off season? <clears throat> yeah, I think um, there's a lot. You know, I think uh, especially in this game, it's like you're never a finished product, and um, it's a constant adjustment process. Um, whether that's like you know some pitch selection stuff um, that we can go back and kind of refine and like kind of see where we can make some adjustments on how do we attack guys, how we get guys out, or whether it could be. Um, you know, there's some things that we wanted to fix, like uh, profile wise on the pitches. I think uh, the sinker was like the first adjustment that we want to make some tinker with some things. And honestly, I've been throwing bullpens and, and very, very excited with kind of the adjustments that I've made so far on that. Um, what the change up I wanted to refine. Um, so, we, we, you know, we've made some good, some good adjustments on that. I think, you know, there's other small things like whether it's like certain pitches just continuing to refine, whether it be the command of them or um, the, the specific shape, I think. Um, it's just a full process of kind of like immersing yourself and like, where can we get better? Where can, you know, you find ways that guys poke holes in you and, and continue to patch them up. So, um, just, you know, it's been a, it's been a really productive off season. I say, especially in the, you know, on the mound and like the bullpen and progression and stuff like that, you know, we've made a lot of adjustments and, um, uh, just really excited to get down there and, and kind of, you know, showcase that and continue to improve that. I believe you threw more innings last year than you ever have in the majors, obviously. I believe it was 159. How much more do you think you can grow on that? Yeah. Build on that? Um, yeah, I think, you know, uh, the sky's the limit. I'm not trying to limit myself to any innings. Like, you know, my body felt good at the end of the year. I felt like I could continue to go. Um, and I've, you know, in my early throwing progression now, my body's feeling good and it's been responding well. So, um, you know, the goal is for me, like, that is like the baseline, you know, that 159 is like, all right, we, we hit this number, let's continue and improve that. Is it 185? Is it 200? Um, so for me, it's just continuing to grow that. I want to be the guy who um, is kind of that workhorse in a rotation and can and, and throw as many innings as he possibly can. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep up with Garrett. You know, he's he's <laughs> kind of leading the charge as far as innings go in the league, and he's been doing that for some years. So I, I kind of trying to follow in his footsteps as far as that goes. All right, I can't help but notice a couple jerseys behind you right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I just, I honestly just started building my collection a little bit this year. Um, and I had, a, these are two, le like, guys that I grew up, you know, um, two legends. Kershaw, I got his when we were out there in, in L.A. And then uh, I had to get Mariana Rivera. This And then this was, I think, my debut jersey. Um, but I had to get Mo. I, I mean, that's like a, that's a must, a staple in all the, the uh, collections. It's a no-brainer. So do you ask directly or you make the club you do it for you? Yeah, no, no, you got to ask. Yeah, I, you got to ask directly. I think, you know, especially when you're being around these guys, it's almost like, and I'm sure they get bothered and, and uh, there comes a point where it, it probably becomes annoying or it's, a, or it's a little token of appreciation. But for me, I just, you know, take my time out of my day to make sure, you know, I can, I let them know that I appreciate them and the work that they've done. You mentioned you went on a trip with your family, Italy, I believe. What yes, was your yes. favorite part of the trip? It looked like you had a blast. Yeah, oh, it was amazing. I think, um, you know, we, uh, we, we did uh, five days in Rome, uh, four days in Venice, and then we did a little bit in Germany. Um, but for me, Venice was, like, unbelievable. The history in Rome is, like, amazing, and the food is amazing in Rome. But something about Venice, just, like, the, the food and – and just like walking in, popping in at some of those little bars, like right there on the water, you hop in a little water taxi or or whatever, or gondola and, and hop onto the next bar or, or restaurant and stuff like that. And the shopping was amazing. So I think just being able to be out there and see like, a, that was my first time in Europe. So being able to be out there and see a different culture and, and kind of the way they, they work and, and live. And it, it was so cool and special for me and my family and to be able to spend it with them. It was a, it was a good reset um, for sure. But you know, now it's back to the grindstone. I hear that. You make me want to hop on a plane, but baseball's <laughs> right around the corner, so we've got to stay it's in Tampa. Right.